mirando. Good morning, Pineapple. So I've seen a few people do videos where they eat from a convenience store for 24 hours. I thought this would be a pretty interesting idea to try for two reasons. One being that I live in Japan and the convenience stores here are pretty awesome. And two being that I'm vegetarian. And a lot of people ask me what they can eat in Japan as a vegetarian. And I know how important convenience food can be when you're traveling. Like sometimes you just don't have anywhere to cook and you need to be able to find vegetarian stuff. So I wanted to be able to show you guys what you can eat from a convenience store. Today I'm going to be eating exclusively from 7-Eleven but if you'd like to see me try another convenience store like Family Mart or Lawson just be sure to hit the like button so that I know that you enjoyed this video and want to see more and maybe subscribe to my channel. Now one thing that might surprise you about Japanese convenience store food or just packaged food here in general is that it very often has some kind of meat in it whether it's like chicken extract or um, pork or something like that very very often it is in there I'm talking like salad dressing potato chips things you really wouldn't expect to have chicken in often do another thing before we get started is that Japanese convenience stores have amazing bento or Japanese lunch boxes so they're like these little packaged lunch boxes with a full lunch in it that's very reasonably priced it is very rare that any of these lunch boxes will be vegetarian friendly I don't think I've ever seen a vegan one so if you're coming to Japan sometimes even if something looks totally vegetarian if you read the ingredients it often won't be so maybe have Google Translate on your phone so that you can check over the ingredients. Anyways, I'm gonna get going and see what delicious convenience store food I can find today. For breakfast, I picked up these four items. I meant to grab an iced coffee on my way out, but I completely forgot. I've got this mildly terrifying clear latte for my morning coffee. This smoothie looks really good. It's cacao almond. Since I'm working from home today, I might need to snack on something while I'm at my computer, so I picked up some cut apple. Just a normal old banana. It was a little expensive, 100 yen for one, but you know, it's convenient, so you pay a little more. For snacks, I picked up some apple mango, just frozen mango here. Um, obviously, if you're on the go, you might not be able to pick up frozen mango, but since I'm working from home, I can just pop it in the freezer. And some frozen grapes. These are pretty delicious. I've also got some nuts and fruits. And finally, Japanese convenience stores are so dangerous because you go in there and you end up seeing something incredible looking and buying it. This is mint sorbet chocolate with peppermint in it, and it looks so good. So I thought I would snack on this today. First off, coffee. I'm gonna give this clear latte a try and see how delicious it is. Oh, you got one of those creepy ones? Yeah. Oh wow. Oh my gosh. It really tastes like a latte, I... despite looking like water. This is incredible. <laughs> Smells like coffee, tastes like coffee, but is it really coffee? We will never know. <laughs> I really, oh, 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 I made a big mistake, guys. This doesn't have any caffeine in it. Oh, you're done for. Oh, I'm gonna have to go down the road to 7-Eleven again. <laughs> I'm gonna have to go get an iced coffee. Oh, I'm such an idiot. Well, moving along, I'm gonna, I'm gonna have some of this smoothie. It looks amazing. Oh, now that's really, really, really good. It's got 14 different types of vegetables, three fruits, cacao and almond. And I think I've found my new favorite smoothie. It's really good. I'm betting this tastes like a banana. Looks like a banana. Feels like a banana. <laughs> tastes like... Talks like a banana. I have to get to work now, but I've got these apple slices to snack on. So I'm pretty excited. I'm pretty excited about this. They're New Zealand apples, guys! Almost never find New Zealand apples here. I hope this is a trend. I hope New Zealand apples are going to catch on because they're so good. Okay guys, I'm having one of those days where I need a little pick-me-up and to be honest, I'm feeling pretty sleepy without my morning <laughs> dose of caffeine. <laughs> the clear stuff, I put it away in the fridge for later because it's not doing anything for me. Anyway, let's open up this. So they all come packaged individually, which is pretty common in Japan. And I'll try. Looks good. Mm. 
Oh my gosh, that is delicious. It's got quite a strong peppermint taste. Mmm, it's chewy and gooey. Oh, these are, these are dangerously delicious. Okay, it is lunchtime and I am craving a coffee. So I'm going to head out and get some iced coffee. I don't usually drink coffee this late in the day, but the girl's got to get her work done somehow, guys. <laughs> 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 so I need my coffee. <laughs> that clear stuff just wasn't cutting it. I'm also going to pick up some batteries for the camera mic because we ran out of batteries and you can pick those up at the convenience store. Very handy. It is time for lunch and finally oh, I have my iced coffee. It's a regular size so I'm kind of regretting not getting a bigger size but mm. okay it's time for a lunch and I have the main star of the meal natto maki. Natto are fermented beans and this is like kind of like a rice roll with seaweed on the outside and fermented beans on the inside. I personally really like it. It's packed full of good stuff. It's good for you. It's healthy. I didn't really like natto when I first moved to Japan, but it won me over. So at least give it a try if you're in Japan. I've got a nice salad here. I forgot to buy dressing, but you can buy single serve dressing in the convenience store. Just be careful because I think maybe only one of them is vegetarian. I think the wafu one is vegetarian. Depending on the convenience store you can have Caesar dressing but most of them have like anchovy sauce in. I think Family Mart Caesar dressing is fine. Okay so Family Mart Caesar dressing, 7-Eleven I'm pretty sure it's the wafu dressing but watch out for those ingredients because there might be some anchovies in there or whatnot. Anyway, I'm having it without dressing. It's still going to be good because it's salad. And lastly, kind of for dessert, I have some frozen mango. Actually, maybe I'll have one right now. Mmm. Oh, so good. If it's your first time having one of these, you might be a little confused, but it's not really that difficult. And if you screw it up, hey, no one's judging you. It's your first time. <laughs> anyway, here it says hiku and it has the number one. Hiku means to pull. So we're going to pull on the number one. Dun, dun. There are little illustrations on the side too that you can follow. So you don't need to be able to read Japanese. And then two here, we're going to roll the roll. So we're pulling off this one. And then opening it up, and I just like to roll it. And there you have it. I'm ready for some natto. Mmm. Salad is just a basic salad. Salad is super crunchy and super fresh. I think it's good even without dressing, and it's healthy. Frozen fruit is one of my favorite things to snack on, so I love that they sell it in convenience stores. Obviously, fruit in Japan can get pretty pricey, especially something like mango, but I really love that you can buy it in convenience store in these little packs. It's just like a great serving size for one person. It's a lovely snack. I just really like fruit, guys. Okay, it's time for dinner and I do feel like this one is kind of cheating because while it is a vegetarian thing you can find in the convenience store, it isn't something you can just pick up and eat like the ready-made meals. However, there were no ready-made meals that I could pick up and eat and I already had salad for lunch and I already had natomaki. Of course you can have shio onigiri which is a rice bowl made up of salt and rice, just salt and rice, no extras. You can also have kombu onigiri which is a seaweed rice bowl and you can have ume onigiri which is pickled plum inside a rice bowl. They're all delicious but it's not really a meal. I had the hardest time finding something for dinner because I've pretty much eaten most of the vegetarian stuff in the store already. I found this four cheese margarita pizza. Um, doesn't look that appetizing based on the picture but I guess we'll see. I've never tried this before. That's gonna be my dinner. <laughs> Looks like you can either cook it in the oven or in a toaster oven, so... Look at that, that actually looks really good. Oh no! Oh no! It's broken! Broken, poor little pizza. 
You know what, it still looks really good. Here comes the pizza. I'm gonna pop it in, it's a perfect fit. And I'm gonna start off doing it for five minutes just in case the toaster oven's too hot. Yeah, it needs more than five minutes, that's for sure. This is what the pizza looks like after eight minutes in my toaster oven. I'm pretty sure it's done because I could smell burning. I've never tried this before and here goes nothing. I think I have two pieces here, but you only live once, so let's try this monster. Okay, the cheese is pretty delicious, I guess because there are four types of cheese in this. Whoops, I just dropped some of it. Mm. Actually, you know what, it really hits the spot. Like the pizza spot, you know, like the I want to eat something greasy and and calorific spot that you know you just you just gotta have something like this once in a while or maybe even more than once in a while. It's just good. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I hope that maybe it could have been just a teeny bit helpful to anyone who's living or traveling in Japan as a vegetarian. I wish I could have been more helpful, but the options at 7-Eleven are pretty limited, so maybe I should try Family Mart next. Let me know in the comments, and I hope to see you in my next video. I pineapple you. Bye.